Greetings in the name of Jesus Christ. Today we shall be shall be sharing a powerful exposition about why the devil fought so hard to take the body of Moses away. The story of Moses is one of the most remarkable narratives in the Bible, filled with divine intervention, leadership, sacrifice, and ultimate redemption. But there is an enigmatic moment that piques the interest of scholars and believers alike the mysterious battle between the Archangel Michael and Satan for the body of Moses. Found in the brief epistle of Jude, this incident raises many questions, not only about the spiritual realities that took place but also about the significance of Moses' body and what Satan hoped to achieve by claiming it. In this exposition, we will delve deep into this peculiar episode examining the reasons why the devil fought so hard for Moses' body, and more importantly, what lessons we can glean from this story. We will navigate through the spiritual implications, theological interpretations, and historical contexts to provide a comprehensive understanding of this mystifying event. Before I go ahead, let me give a little background of Moses' story. Moses' life was anything but ordinary. Born into slavery in Egypt, Rescued from infanticide and raised in Pharaoh's court, Moses lived a life of luxury until he fled Egypt after killing an Egyptian. He spent the next 40 years in the wilderness before being called by God through the burning bush to lead the Israelites out of Egypt. He led the people through trials and miracles, from the crossing of the Red Sea to receiving the Ten Commandments on Mount Sinai. Moses' journey was not without its challenges. His leadership was often questioned, and at times even he doubted his abilities. Despite his direct communication with God, Moses was not allowed to enter the Promised Land due to an incident at Meribah, where he struck a rock to bring forth water, disobeying God's command to speak to it instead. This act of disobedience cost Moses his entry into the land he had longed for. However, God did allow him to view the Promised Land from Mount Nebo before his death the strange circumstances of Moses' death. According to Deuteronomy chapter 34, verse 5 to b 6, Moses died in the land of Moab, but what is unusual is that God himself buried him, and he God buried him in a valley in the land of Moab, opposite Beth Peor, but no man knows the place of his burial to this day. The significance of this divine burial cannot be overstated. Why did God take such personal care of Moses' burial? And why was the location of his grave kept secret? It was in this sacred and hidden moment that a cosmic battle occurred, one that is recorded in the New Testament. Let's proceed into the second phase, the cosmic battle for the body of Moses. Jude chapter 1 verse 9. The epic confrontation. The New Testament sheds some light on this mysterious event. In Jude chapter 1 verse 9, it says, But Michael the archangel, when he disputed with the devil and argued about the body of Moses, did not dare pronounce against him a railing judgment, but said, The Lord rebuke you. This verse tells us that there was a dispute between Michael and Satan over the body of Moses, but it does not give us the reason for this dispute. This omission leads to numerous speculations and interpretations. Why did Satan want Moses' body? The question that arises here is, why was the devil so interested in Moses' body? After all, Moses was dead. To understand this, we must look at a few possible reasons. 1. Moses was a symbol of the law. Moses was the mediator of the law, which was central to Israel's covenant with God. By trying to claim his body, Satan was attempting to undermine the authority of the law and, by extension, God's relationship with his people. If Satan could claim Moses, he symbolically have claimed the authority of the law itself, just the way Jesus died and was resurrected by God from the underworld. If Jesus was never risen, then the effects of Christ's victory would not have been felt. In same way, if the devil had succeeded in capturing Moses' body, then the law wouldn't have effect. Number 2. Desecration of Moses' Body Another possibility is that Satan wanted to desecrate Moses' body to prevent him from having a proper burial. In ancient Jewish culture, the treatment of a person's body after death was of utmost importance. A failure to receive a proper burial was considered a great dishonor. By desecrating Moses' body, 
Satan sought to dishonor the memory of Israel's greatest leader, thus discouraging the people. Number three, preventing resurrection. Some scholars suggest that Satan wanted to prevent Moses' resurrection. Though this is speculative, it aligns with the notion that Satan consistently seeks to thwart God's plans. If Moses' body could be corrupted or taken, Satan believed it would prevent him from being a part of God's redemptive plan in the afterlife. Moses, after all, later appears with Elijah at the transfiguration of Jesus. Matthew chapter 17 verse 1 to 3, signifying his continued role in God's plan. Number 4. Spiritual Warfare The battle over Moses' body is a reflection of the broader spiritual warfare that exists between God's forces and the forces of darkness. Satan has seen Moses as a valuable trophy in his long-standing rebellion against God. His desire to claim the body has been driven by a broader aim to assert his power and challenge God's sovereignty. But he never succeeded. The angel of God intervened. The role of Michael the Archangel. Let's start by saying a little about who Michael is and what he did in intervening for Moses' body. Michael is one of the angels named in the Bible as a warrior angel. In Daniel chapter 10 verse 13 and Daniel chapter 12 verse 1, he is described as a protector of Israel, fighting spiritual battles on behalf of God's people. He is also mentioned in Revelation chapter 12 verse 7, where he leads an army of angels against the forces of Satan in heaven. In the case of Moses' body, Michael is once again cast in the role of protector. His involvement emphasizes the significance of Moses and the importance of his body in the spiritual realm. Interestingly, Michael does not rebuke Satan directly but says, The Lord rebuke you. This shows that even Michael, as powerful as he is, relies on God's authority rather than his own. This mysterious incident holds deep spiritual significance and provides important lessons for believers today. 1. The reality of spiritual warfare. The dispute over Moses' body underscores the reality of spiritual warfare. Satan is constantly seeking to interfere with God's plans, and his efforts are not limited to the realm of the living. He is willing to fight for even the dead, which serves as a stark reminder that spiritual warfare is all-encompassing and relentless. As believers, we must be aware of this spiritual battle and equip ourselves with the tools to fight it. Ephesians 6.12 reminds us, For we do not wrestle against flesh and blood, but against the rulers, against the authorities, against the cosmic powers over this present darkness, against the spiritual forces of evil in the heavenly places. Number 2. The Sovereignty of God In this battle we see that God's sovereignty is supreme. Although Satan fought for Moses' body, he was ultimately unsuccessful. This teaches us that no matter how hard Satan may try, he cannot overcome God's will. The victory belongs to the Lord, and even the Archangel Michael knew this when he invoked the Lord's name in his rebuke. We should take comfort in knowing that God is in control, even in the most mysterious and challenging situations. His plans cannot be thwarted by the enemy. 3. Humility in Spiritual Conflict Michael's response to Satan is also a lesson in humility. Rather than engage in a direct confrontation, he entrusted the matter to God, saying, The Lord rebuke you this shows us that in spiritual warfare, it is not by our strength that we prevail, but by God's authority. In times of spiritual struggle, we must rely on God's power and not our own. 4. The Importance of Honoring God's Servants The dispute over Moses' body shows us that even in death, God honors his faithful servants. Moses had made mistakes, but God still honored him by personally burying him and protecting his body from desecration. This teaches us the importance of honoring those who have faithfully served God, even after they have passed away. Their legacy continues to impact the lives of believers, just as Moses' legacy continues to inspire faith and obedience today. The Final Victory the battle for the body of Moses was just one episode in the larger cosmic struggle between good and evil. While Satan sought to claim Moses' body for his own purposes, God, through the intervention of Michael, 
ensured that his servant was honored and protected. This victory is a foretaste of the ultimate victory that will come when Christ returns to fully defeat Satan and establish his eternal kingdom. In the end, the story of Moses and the battle for his body serves as a reminder of God's faithfulness to his people. It also encourages us to remain vigilant in the spiritual battles we face, knowing that we do not fight alone. Just as Michael fought for Moses, God's angels and his spirit fight for us today. In conclusion, the mysterious battle for the body of Moses is a story that reveals the depth of spiritual realities beyond what we can see. It shows the devil's relentless attempts to thwart God's plans, even in the life and death of one of God's most faithful servants. Yet it also reveals the power of God's sovereignty, the importance of humility, and the reality of spiritual warfare. As believers, we are called to recognize these truths in our own lives. Just as Moses was fiercely protected and honored, we too are under the care of a sovereign God who will never let the enemy claim us. In the grand narrative of redemption, even the most intense spiritual battles ultimately serve to glorify God and advance His kingdom. So let's learn from this and permit that God's will be done in our lives. For He will never allow the devil win over us. We must always have faith in God. Thank you for watching this video to the end. Please join our godly family by subscribing to this channel for more informative and end times video like this. God bless you.